and greetings friends. Today I want to talk to you about Luke the 16th chapter verse 16 that says this, the law and the prophets, meaning the books of the Old Testament, were until John, meaning John the Baptist. Since that time, time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is preached. So Christ is telling us here that right up to the time of John the Baptist, the Old Testament books of the Bible were being preached, they were being taught all over Judea, among the Jews, wherever they resided, in their synagogues and in the temple, right up to the time of John the Baptist. Then he says, since that time, time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. Of course, the most common interpretation is that right up to the time of John the Baptist, the Old Testament books of the Bible were being taught, being preached, they were being obeyed, but then came John the Baptist and Jesus and the establishment of the New Testament church. Now we have the New Testament, and these are the scriptures that we ought to preach and teach and obey, and the Old Testament well, we don't need to preach and teach and obey that any longer. God's law is done away. That's the most common interpretation. But verse 17, Jesus says this. He says, It is easier for heaven and earth to pass, meaning to be destroyed, to perish. It's easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle, a tiny portion of the law, to fail. So Christ is saying here that it's easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for the law, even a tiny portion of the law, to fail. The Bible plainly says that the law is, is going to be here forever. It's established forever. And Christ is saying here it's easier for heaven and earth to pass away than, one, than for the law, even a tiny portion of the law, to fail. So obviously that interpretation of God's law being done away is false. And it's interesting. There's an interesting scripture in Psalm 119, 126, where the psalmist wrote, It is time for you, Lord, to work, talking about the work of his judgment, for they have made void thy law. He's asking God to judge these people, to do his work of judgment on these people that keep preaching and teaching that God's law is void. It is done away, and it's simply not true. The Bible plainly says that God's law is established forever. It will always be here. Christ says it's easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for even one tiny portion of the law to fail. So what did Jesus mean when he said the law and the prophets were until John? Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. Well, when you look at the ministry of John the Baptist, you will find that he preached the fulfillments of the Old Testament prophecies. And he was the first one to do that since the close of the Old Testament back in the days of Malachi. After the ministry of Malachi, the Old Testament was closed and there was, a, there was silence for 400 years. And then came John the Baptist who came preaching, notice Matthew the third chapter verse two, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He preached the fulfillments of the Old Testament prophecies, where before that nobody preached the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. Notice Mark, the first chapter, verse 2. It says, As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. So here we see a fulfillment of an Old Testament prophecy being fulfilled by John the Baptist. And then not only was he a fulfillment of a prophecy, but he preached the fulfillments of the Old Testament prophecies. Notice Jesus Christ. He also preached the kingdom of God and its fulfillments, the Old Testament prophecies being fulfilled in his day. Notice Mark 1, verse 14. It says, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, saying, The time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Notice, that's what John the Baptist says in Matthew, the third chapter, verse 2. He says, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus Christ says here, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. They preached the same thing, the fulfillments of the Old Testament prophecies. And no one did that till the time of John the Baptist. And then he says, Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Jesus Christ says the same thing in Luke, the fourth chapter, verse 21, he says, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Jesus Christ and John the Baptist preached the fulfillments of the Old Testament 
prophecies. And even in the New Testament writings, we find that the events that happened in the New Testament, these writers say that these were actual fulfillments of Old Testament prophecies and even label them as such. As many people say, the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed and the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. And, of course, the prophecies of the Bible are still not uh, completely fulfilled. We have many prophecies in the end time talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. And the Church of God today is out there proclaiming the good news of the coming kingdom of God, expounding and explaining these Old Testament prophecies and showing that these prophecies will be fulfilled at the second coming of Jesus Christ. So God is not finished with his prophecies yet. So to say that these scriptures prove that God's law is done away is just another Bible misconception.